Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53. First round match, what a thrilling game we have for you today. We've got Diamed with Dwarves taking on Mr. Pepino with Dwarves. And in the booth is Squirrel Dude, hello. Howdy Jim, it's the kind of matchup dreams are made of. Dreams that are inhabited by Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm so excited. What can, what can I say? This is really exciting. Exciting. I know he missed, you might have missed in all the exciting action, but that, that dwarf just two dice another dwarf. Oh, and wow. Dwarf pops. Oof. Normally there'd be a removal there, but dwarves are so exciting, they have less removals than other teams. <laughs> How I don't kill us yet, it's still more. Fun. The team, uh, this game probably would be more fun if we had a lot more stand firm. It was just a bunch of. It, we, the comedy of two teams uselessly pushing each other all over the field would be pretty fun, but uh, yeah. alas, we just have normal dwarves with a couple of st stat up st strength freaks. It's basically like the same teams, right? Look, blood, <laughs> move up, tackle, blood, move up, tackle, strength four guard, strength four guard. <laughs> <laughs> loads of guard, loads of guard. <laughs> so runners look like something out of uh, Blood Bowl 2020. <laughs> yeah. Lock, dodge, <coughs> move, then tackle, and then move again. Mm. Very exciting. I and mean, Diamed's then... quite good though, isn't he? I don't know who Mr. Pepino is, so my... Diamed would be my favourite, even if Mr. Pepino looks like he's got a slightly better team. He doesn't have a runner or a uh, troll slayer, which helps. Uh, Diamond has the extra strength up, so there's that. And at the end of one turn, we have a line of dwarves against the line of dwarves. Four. Super exciting. Forming a cage to protect the runner from getting circled around back. All the fast players. Yep. All the fast players. I see what you did there. I'm being sarcastic, but it really is something that I, I do think um, it's a natural inclination to want to cage up, but I think there's a mistake in the situation. It just means that it's easier for Diamond to play against him, so you just took the players away from the front. Yeah. There's really no reason that there's no reason to if you just form a line you're fine. That's a surf here, isn't there? What a, what a strange thing to do to uh to like potentially give up a surf here. <laughs> wow, good old pants. I mean, it wasn't that much of a thing because he, had, he couldn't get, really get around to surf. But, uh, it does let him kind of lock down this entire side, though, and really threaten and surf if he wants to. Oh, wow. I don't I don't know if that GFI was necessary. Uh, not surely, you could have just followed, surely you could have just followed there, right? Yeah, and then just have this guy. Uh, yeah. Like you've got this guy, so that was a bit wild. Okay, I I see. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see why you want to do this. You don't want to do the push into the square up to the right, and then you get. I guess he didn't want to take the minus two dice, push up to the right, and then blitz up with the guard he, guy on the ground. He just doesn't want to expose the strength four run, right? Like, if if, if this guy mm -hmm. follows, then where does this guy go to hold this space? He's probably got to hold it himself, and then he's a he's a defenseless armor, right? which is terrible. Terrible. I was thinking that maybe he was afraid of the um, minus two dice push on that long beard and just square up to the right, and then you can use the down player with the minus two dice push to surf him off. I don't know, because you get, you get the counter in, right? So I, I think it's yeah. probably just to protect the strength for and keep mm. this somewhat tight. Diamond's going to get a lot of hits, and. No, there's not a surf available now because stand from doing something. But... Mm -hmm. yeah, Man, it's not, not not great that your strength force is into the sideline in perpetuity right now. Yes. Would have really liked to have chained this dwarf in here. 
I don't see a great follow-up to it, other than maybe some pressure, but... Yeah, he hasn't blitzed yet, right? So he could, he could have blitzed in here and then had, had a bit more in. Might, might as well, right? I think getting getting a couple of getting a couple of guards in front of the cage is all right. I think could have done it, I think just better than nothing. <laughs> like, I don't know, I think you, you're in a pretty strong position here as, as yeah. Diamond, and I would want to get a bit of pressure on Right now, I guess. I haven't crossed the halfway line, don't have to. Mm -hmm. Maybe he feels like the position's already pretty strong, like he's already kind of up for this part, yeah. getting more hits every turn. Yeah. And to be fair, maybe I would if I was playing it, it's just watching yeah. it and just think. I would like to do it. Plus, I guess you've got to, like, you want to win without having your players die and stuff as well. Hello, Faulty. Yeah, let's hope the dwarves can win, eh? Always count on Fall Force or Demi for that joke. Yeah. I mean, prediction. Valid <laughs> prediction. I mean, it's not a joke, they're going to be correct, probably. <laughs> Glorious. Hello, Sada. It was a very fun weekend, wasn't it? If your ribs hurt, it's your fault for eating kebab that Denny recommended. It was a great kebab. <laughs> no, nobody else really enjoyed it, but I did. It was it was super greasy. I probably shouldn't have had it, but never mind. I just couldn't resist it. I mean, I was I was really hammered, <laughs> and school was like, "Oh fuck this! I'm not gonna eat this." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, let me let me try it. It's amazing." <laughs> Because I thought it might have just been terrible, you know? So I was like, oh, give me it, let me try it, and I'll tell you if it's terrible. And then obviously, because I was drunk, it's like, it's the best kebab ever. <laughs> the sauce was nice, though. I think the sauce was nice. That was the thing. Yeah, there you go. See, so I feel good about it. The sauce is very good indeed. We're going to move the uh, strength for runner over the other side. No. Gonna tag the ball. There we go. So getting a bit of getting a bit of pressure on now yep. is Diamond. Feels like by the time you got the entire other dwarf team tagged or marked by guard, their strength four is now effectively isolated for another turn because he's slow. Yeah, he's three for wanting him over here, isn't he? That's the thing. Yeah. This guy can't do anything. These two are stuck on him, so it's like basically a three for one there. So he's he's got a big advantage everywhere else. Yeah, I, I do prefer chili. But yeah, mostly I've just had terrible garlic sauce. So I guess not having. I, I literally, uh, I think Skuro just like ordered the exact same as Dimmy, and then Skuro like was like, I can't eat this shit. <laughs> I was then I was very drunk, folded. very drunk indeed. The drunkest I've been in four years, funnily enough. <laughs> not longer actually. Yeah, yeah, so just move the cage over there. But the problem is by doing that, now you know you've got these three aren't involved. And these two aren't involved. <laughs> and you're suddenly in a world of well, but at least your strength falls involved. And the power here obviously is I mean there's two more players gonna come into the game. Probably he's looking to blitz that strength ball with Dauntless. Yeah. Threatens it. That threatens soaking the spore room. Again. <laughs> Shove <Shoot> back up. <laughs> <laughs> the sideline is your new home. Go to your home. Oh man, the GFIs. See, this is why dwarves are harps, they can roll two pluses sometimes. Yeah, it's it's hard to imagine, roll two pluses. Imagine having to roll a two plus as a team. If you can roll a bunch of twos as a team, it might make them like the most hard. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Squirrel. And then your favourite cider, what? Uh, Cherry Bakewell. Are you a Cherry Bakewell fan? I have cherry bakewells. They're pretty good. I don't drink alcohol. 
but uh, cherry vehicles so nice. Yeah, cherry vehicles are they are they're amazing, and amazing. Yeah. They're okay. They're like a very sweet top turret, but they're pretty good. Oh, wow. That was a blitz, by the way. It wasn't it just? So, um, he has not tagged the tackler. Oh, he's trying now, though. Hits okay, him. so, goes from a 3 to a 88% one day. Something. Yeah, but everyone else is tagged. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, the recovery's lagging. For, like, how, like, kind of out... Mm -hmm. He's not really outclassed, he's not gotten outclassed any, but how outclassed his like position was to have been yeah. in this <laughs> Yeah, he'll break the armor. So, so. Wow. And there's the one and nine. Yeah. And I could probably stall it as well. Makes those huge, huge stuns. The armor break, I mean, he had to get, it was like a 25% chance when he blitzed that stand for him, but it's just all terrible too, so it wasn't just getting the, like, all of that, he needed good dice on. Yeah, that pretty much. But he got him, so it's, it, it was the right decision. Mm -hmm. That's it might have been works. the right decision, based on how Barrett was going, how we just still Okay, I hate this. That was, that was bad. Yeah, that was not, that was not good. I hate this. <laughs> That was, that was not ideal in a lot of ways. Uh, if you're just scoring, you know, I I guess the idea is you go for the go for the hit with tackle, and you get the knockdown. You can stall one more turn more easily, mm -hmm. and, so you don't, and if you don't get the knockdown, it's just one to fight a score. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to do that, but man, I don't know. He's got no rerolls. I, I would have. Uh... I think I would have, I get, but I guess he's only got two turns and no rerolls to score. So yeah, maybe maybe it's correct to just bang it in. It, it maybe it is right. Like you'd have to work out his chance to score the two turn, right? Like you would have to estimate his percentage chance to score and the two turn. I don't think Diomed is a spare runner, right? So it's just the one runner. Unless they missed the. Oh, no, he has a strength four runner, doesn't he? Yeah, strength yeah, four. Yeah, he has a strength four. Okay. I think there is a way, like, dwarves aren't very reactive, right? Nearly any team can score in two turns versus, like, dwarves are a pretty shit team at stopping two turns. They're a pretty decent team at stopping eight turns, but they're a pretty shit t team at stopping two turns, because they're just slow as fuck. If the other team's willing to just gamble on facing one side because you can't, like, punish a blitz, you know, or you can't punish with a blitz doing that, yeah. it's not that hard to just force your way through a hole here. Way. And get a bunch of space. And there you go, you got a hole now. Yeah. Just apply a bit of pressure and it won't show up. A gaping hole. But obviously the lack of rerolls is. Yeah. Pretty. I'm guessing we're doing a GFI with the tackle with the strength four guy at the end there too. I don't know if I like doing the handoff. In fact, I'll just say I don't like doing the handoff at this point. There's really no reason to force that ball. Well, the problem is if you don't, then then you get in trouble next turn, right? So like, okay, yeah, by yeah. moving first, you've got him in a spot for next turn. But you can have to do that three plus anyway at some point. So why not just do it now? When it's a three, and you know it's going to be a three plus. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, only uh, moving two with a blitzer, yeah. Yeah, I think the reason he did that specifically is he wanted to put strength, the strength four tackle on his the opponent's dodge player, I think is the idea. Mm -hmm. So he had to save the long gear to do that. But yeah, obviously you would like to have another player in scoring range, but is that he's just going to get powered or something? No, only pushed. Nope. And it's just GFI to score now. He's going to have to tag this other runner. Oh, he's not going to be able rolls. to. Uh, my All right. Is purple, or... Oh my so god. So this is a two dice block to get uh, pushes <laughs> for the GFI. My jumper's blue. I don't know why I said purple. <laughs> I got All right. Scott. The champ and, is um, here. Hello, Timmy G. Woo! And just as Bud Tugley said, no way doors turn two turn on doors. It's impossible. That yep. was a very difficult score. It only worked if you rolled a two plus. Uh, 
twice on three dice. Yes. Yeah, that was that was I think I think Mr. Pepino got away with one there. Flip me. Oh, oh Demi, are you, are you home? Are you home at ten past eleven? We're on the train. In London. Another two hours. Oh god. That's brutal. It's <laughs> absolutely brutal. I mean, I would have just done chevrons. I thought it was a bit of a crap defense not doing chevrons. God, look at me. God. You're a big loony. 40. No offense, mate. Yourself and help. Mm. Talk to you in five minutes. Mm. I think what, what I might do is tomorrow I might do like an AFK stream of the uh, of the UKTC things, and then hopefully I'll be able to speak to do <laughs> some casts, and then like maybe also maybe do some casts, then have a break with the AFK stream, and then do some more casts. Yeah. I feel like Diomed is favored in this game for what it's worth. I feel like he played better in that first half, and his offense should go better than Pino's did. So he should end up going into overtime. Yeah. And you can tell he's already kind of playing for the bite, how he ate that double skills. Yeah. Yeah, I think his team is slightly worse. Like, it's very close, but I think his team is slightly worse. Um, but I think he is the better coach. <laughs> Mango juice and all. <laughs> oh, I'm really rough. Flip me. <laughs> the million beers on Friday. <laughs> Can we zoom out? Man. No. Absolutely it is to me experiencing aging in real time. This thing that he used to be able to do every day starting to come back to bite him for multiple days at a time. <laughs> and I suppose it wouldn't be the UK if y'all didn't instantly the first time you get around to call together with people for the first time in years, instantly go full gun something. Yeah, you you gotta you gotta binge drink in Britain. It's like the national pastime. Not so bad, thanks, Steve. The uh, well, I mean the tooth chip. I, just, I tip, chipped a tooth eating a kebab. I don't know how that works, but I did. And the foot is still hurts if I stand on it. But you know, obviously now I'm home. I can just. I don't have to walk miles every day, so, so it'll be all right. Cheers. Well, this looks a bit, a bit. I want to say interesting, but you know, it's not really, is it? But like, you know, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit higgledy piggledy, isn't it? Rather than like the two lines that were in there. Uh, but like, these two isolated. Probably bad for a time. It might be though. That feels more like they're isolated on the side of the field he wants to go up compared to what happened with Papino where he had to like shift back to get one way and then found his way going back to the isolated players. 
Maybe, or, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I should stick to chicken and rice forever. Just get dentures. Okay. Or robot teeth. Yeah. Alright, after I have to go to the dentist. So. Make sure not sure. Just make sure your wife doesn't see it, Demi. You don't have to explain that to the kids. Way. You'll have to put it in the Discord. Volk's got the Volk's got the picture of like first and second. I mean they they weren't second team, I'd already ended up ninth, but uh they were like the two in the final, right? And and I'm photobombing it gloriously. <laughs> it's so good. Oh wow, the cars. Something happened. Bad news for Diamond. Back for the drive. Let me. Was it a perm? Ah, it was out of anyway. Hurt. It was a badly hurt and to uh, miss next game, so I took the badly hurt. Because that's a choice you can make, I suppose. I suppose, theoretically, there are times where you'd rather have a missed next game than a badly hurt. Yeah. Like, if your next match was against me and Rebel, and I had, like, four strength four beastmen, I <laughs> didn't Yeah, four, I think I had three strength four beastmen, I think, and, like, four claw bombers or whatever, then, yeah, you might just want to take missed next. So, yeah, there will be times. Yeah. I need a whole coconut. That's a... That's one way to say you got diarrhea, Ducky. <laughs> Also, I just now realized that Ducky is store, based on that image. Well, yeah, it was store on a chip Twitch TV slash GymCon, where we got to see store with a whole coconut for some reason. <laughs> yeah, he's got a coconut. Uh, it's it's for his special dice. When it's a particularly important role, he uses his coconut. Uh, Ice shaker, yeah. This is, this is tricky disappointing. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, have a coconut and like a drill, so like halfway through the game, he takes a refreshment by drilling a hole in the coconut and drinking the milk out of it. <laughs> no, no, it's important. Well, that's how he wins. Yeah, that's how he wins, Tim. But um, but he made a fatal mistake in one game where, uh, well, the, the game against McNaughton, you'll see he fills a crucial role, and if he'd used the coconut, you have to think he would have passed that role. <laughs> <laughs> I think he does use the coconut against McNaughton, but only once. And, uh, I can't remember. I might use it in Maybe the mistake was using it for the wrong role. Maybe its power was limited to only uh, once every so often. Mm. Maybe. Can't use it more than maybe. once a game. Got an eye cage, will it be enough? Uh, maybe probably maybe. not, but. Mm. There's a good chance it isn't enough. Because we just have. You know, almost an instant to be on the ball here. Yep, 2D on the ball. Yep. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't have followed right to get a better angle. I think we shouldn't have Yeah, the angle, the angle down is probably better. Yeah. To the panel. Tackle is good. Get to the catch. <laughs> Oh yeah, glorious Daka from Skull. He had eight players, he got a guy cast on the LOS, a guy fouled out on the LOS, and then he Daka with six six men for the whole half and won. It's pretty amazing. 
It's gonna be amazing, guys. You know, it's only so amazing you're beating you like the kids at the local tabletop tournament, but yeah, true. true. I mean, it was on table two or something, but yeah, true. <laughs> Now I get the uh, knockdown on four dice. Yep, this is looking really bad for Shannon now. Yep. I, it's going to be hard for him to get the ball back against four. And for a team not just get knocked down here. Yep. I mean, don't say it's over. That's what Elliot would say. It's not over. It's just going to be difficult from here. Oh yeah, that's a good picture of me and Doom. Glorious. <laughs> One recall, oh, folks. Oh, embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. I have to make like a Gymcon Photos channel and everyone can put all of their photos from the uh, Gymcon in. Well, not Jim Con, Nick Con, and UKTC. <laughs> the wedding singer, what the wedding singer one was pretty great from Volcaho. Volcaho. Just can't really get any pals on his dice this turn, so there you go. Yeah, I'm guessing you wanted a pal there for like four plus or something, but I don't. And necessary dog. Fuck off! I'm not sure how he's gonna, you know, score. No. At this point. I mean, I, I, I can, I can tell you how he's gonna score. He's not gonna score. <laughs> it's, ah, fuck! it's really hard, isn't it? It's so hard. It's so hard. He only has one scoring threat, really. Um, if that, yeah, there's actually a good argument that um, all Popino should do is just try and hit the scoring threats. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's probably what he should do. Um, well, the thing is, if he blitzes that guy, he can run all his block the ball. Okay. okay. I was going to say, like, if you could block that guy and you could blitz that guy and then just you know, run downfield, it's pretty good, right? Mm. I guess you can't knock down both scoring threats since it's the one scoring dodge and you don't have a tackler. Oh I can hit him God. easily. I yeah. mean, he's, he's, he had uh, he had the guards in anyway, but it's pretty good, yeah. isn't it? So, I mean, he's just got a full, just a full thing to bus. No big wall. Yeah, just block your way into a cage. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Hellboy. It was glorious, yep. Fantastic. Oh, great to meet you. I might be back for more non-playing of tabletop events. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's cast. That's how he's going to score. <laughs> Let's be for the next game. Mm. Well, yeah, I thought his team was slightly better. Like you know, they were they were similar. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with the ball carrier being identical, but I did I did like the, uh, the build of Mr. Pepino more. So there you go. Congratulations, mm. Mr. Pepino. Commiserations, Diamond. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, for. Being in comms for this disaster of a dwarf mirror. Guy <laughs> was going to feel a little bit put off. He had to play a dwarf mirror and he played better the first half, but it wasn't enough to get him a score. And to get to overtime at least. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know in the second half if it was just dice or if it was play, but certainly his, his offense was a, you know, ended up a shambles, didn't it? A complete shambles. Maybe that was the difference in, uh, in teams being telling on defense. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, Mr. Pepino got in trouble on offense as well, so, you know, I guess just draws, draws for a strong team again, you know, anyway. 
defending an 8 turn touchdown. So, yeah, pretty interesting. And there's a throw into a skull, and it is officially over. And I've already done the outro, so fantastic. All there is to say is, oh, you only made two AV breaks in the entire game. Yeah, that's not good. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. I promise there will be better games after this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, group.